my name is Marina. I am a fashion, lifestyle, and travel content creator here on YouTube, Instagram, TikTok, and my blog at Her Millennial Closet. If you're new to my chat, I want to say welcome to this welcome family. I'm so happy to have you here. It is a pleasure, pleasure, pleasure. Whatever you need to grab it, your drink, your coffee, your wine, water, whatever it is, grab it because today's video is going to be so good as always. So as I promised you guys, promised <laughs> you guys, I was going to do a uh, Ikea closet tour. I'm going to put a video while we're talking so you can see the closet. I promise you guys we're going to get a full view of the closet from top to bottom, explaining all of the pieces and what I got and how I got it, how I went about getting it. So that is why we are here today. So relax, bug it up because I've gotten so many questions on Instagram, nearly Instagram, how is my closet? the design, the layout, a whole bunch of questions I've gotten. So we're gonna go through it right now. All right, again, grab everything you have. If you, have, if you haven't already done this, please hit the subscribe button, turn on the notification bell, you'll receive every single video I post. I post on here once a week on Saturdays, all right? Now first, before we get into the video, I thought this was a common knowledge, but I kept getting questions about this. This is a custom built IKEA pack system, so it's different for everybody, right? Mine is an L ship, someone might have a U ship, someone might have an I ship. It is different for everybody. You can go on IKEA website and build your own closet out. I'll try to put a video on the screen how I do that. You just go to Ikea.com. This video is not sponsored at all, but you go to Ikea.com, you go through the steps that you're seeing me do on the screen right now, follow those directions, and then you can build your own pack system as you see fit. Um, it is custom built, like I said, everybody is different. <laughs> everybody built it as they wish you can do whatever you want however you want it to look like it is totally up to you you can choose the size the width the length what I will say though make sure the measurements are correct like from top to bottom make sure the measurements are accurate if not you're gonna end up like me with a different design like you initially did all right now now you see how to build the design here is my design if it, I'll put a picture of this on the screen so you can see <laughs> that is my design my friend May and I did it together since so she had prior knowledge so she's gonna help me build my out and that is my design again mine <laughs> you can build the same design if you want to that is totally fine but again just do what you like okay that's one the other thing is I mentioned it earlier and I'll say it again. Make sure the measurements are correct. My friend, if it's not correct, you're going to end up like me because this is not how my supposed to look. But I like it and eventually when we move out of this apartment and get a bigger space or house, this will lay out as a shoe and I'll add more pieces to it. The other thing you should know is because a friend of mine was like, oh, I didn't know you can put this in the apartment. This is not stick into the wall. You can glue it into the wall. If you guys look on the top, it's not glued all the way hitting the roof. So that's one thing too. You can move this around. One, again, this has been like a dream of mine to have. It's been on my wish list and hoping to get it someday. And God bless me, I got it. So shout out to the big old G out there. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Christ. Thank you, Lord. <laughs> but um, it has been on the wish list. But one of the creators that I used to watch her videos, she said that she moved this from apartment to apartment. So you can move this around. Again, mine is not really stuck to the wall. One of, one of my pieces were actually drilled to the wall, but that's because it's standing alone and you will see it when we get to it. But everything else is movable. The, the reason why it looks so, like, there's something that comes with it that go between to make it closer. But they're supposed, if you move them, it's still in the side. I didn't put this together myself. I had someone come in and do it for me, so that is totally okay. The other thing is I have a study. So the apartment we have right now is one bedroom and a den. 
So the, the goal was to, when we was looking to get a bigger space, I talked to my fiance about it and I told him, I said, listen, I want to take this content creating thing as more serious as I want, as I have previously done. And I need a space to enable me to create. At the time, it was just one bedroom. And I put my kids before him. I put my business kids before him. And he was like, okay, if that's what you want, we're going to get it. So we intentionally got a bigger space so that I can get this this closet in here so I can have a space dedicated to creating content. So if you have a two bedroom, you can definitely do this. If you have a three bedroom, you can definitely, definitely do that. Some homes come with a bigger walk-in closet. You can build it in there as well. The guy that put my stuff together, my handyman, he told me he had done this in Excuse me. He have done this in smaller closets and bigger closet as well So I don't want you to think you can't do it because you have an apartment or you don't have a space for it So you'll see I'll, I'll start when I start to go through the measurement of things my um, my, my shelves are bigger than the actual size. There are different sizes when it comes to the shelving. So you can get a bigger one, you can get a smaller one to fit in a space. Again, make sure the measurement is correct. So the measurements you need will be from top to bottom, which is the height, okay? And then from one corner to the next, which is the width, okay? And then you need the depth from front to inside. I don't know, please don't put me, please don't be mad. I'm just telling you guys what I know. I'll put all the measurements that you need on the screen so you can get it, okay? Because I've gotten so many questions. Again, make sure your measurement is right because y'all, I if you remember my closet before, I'll put a video on the screen real quickly so you can see. I had a uh, shelves on the other side. Um, on that wall and you will see soon. Um, I had to take everything off. We had to turn it into, we had to put it in the dining room to kind of build a boat case shell in the dining room, which ended up working out. But before then, eh, the way I did the measurements in my head, the four shelves were supposed to stay in here for my purses. And then this, the, the closet would have fit on this wall and stop on that end and you'll see shortly. But again, I got the measurements all wrong things and then we, I mistakenly ordered the bigger, well, I didn't, I made a mistake. May knew what she was doing, but she assumed I knew because they have different length and depth for the closet. Anyway, you're not talking, let's get in. Well, I should be talking because that's the whole point. <laughs> So again, make sure your measurements is good. Go on IKEA.com, you need that measurements to put it in. Or if you don't want to do it on your own, you can go in store to IKEA and they will build it out for you. Again, if you don't have the measurements, they're not gonna listen to you. I'm sorry, I tried to do it last year. The measurement wasn't right, it got sent me back. This year, my brother and I did the measurement again. We didn't do it right, I think. Well, the measurement was right. This, the, this type of box, the type of shelving like these was bigger than the measurement, if that makes sense. So make sure when you measure, make sure you have enough space to or choose the right size of, I don't know how to call these, I don't know if the shelf or what, it is what it is. Anyway, let's get into my pieces. I'm gonna... So first thing first is the jewelry station. I am missing the glass that go on top of this because they're so out. Now, I was so shocked that I was able to get this because, y'all, these things are always so out. <laughs> like, I was so shocked. The only thing that didn't come in my box was the glass for this, but everything else came. So, check now because I know some creators that said they haven't even gotten all the pieces they wanted. It was just a blessed day for me that everything I wanted was in stock. It literally came like two days. Some of them came the next day. So, I don't know. It was a good day for me. All right, anyway, the glass that go on top of here is not there, but this pulls out and go back in. It pulls out, which I thought was pretty cool. And the other thing is, all the pieces that I wanted in my IKEA bag closet, I got every single one of them. So I'm truly happy, okay? So this comes out, like I said, and goes in. It has different jewelry. The jewelry things come out of it, okay? This is it, you can put jewelry in it as is. 
and then but it, and then it goes back to inside. Okay, so all, all this thing comes up and goes back to inside, and then you put the glass on top again. The glass is so out, so I don't have the glass. Um, I'm not gonna open the drawers, but I have one, two, three, four drawers on this. Now I have seen people who put clothing rack up there and hang clothes on top of it. I didn't put a clothing rack or another drawer up there for bags. I wanted to put a mirror on this wall, which is still the idea, but be careful, this is plastic. <laughs> it's not that strong. So get a really light mirror and then find a way to stick it on the wall. Um, my handyman, he said he won't recommend pulling holes in this because again, I'm gonna be moving around with it and I just want it to stay neat, okay? So that's one. Again, this slides out and in, and I really love it. I thought this was so cool. And I have four drawers on this one alone, okay? That's okay. one. Here's the next side of the closet. Now, the way we built this closet, this was supposed to be on that corner and then the other box was supposed to be next to it. And this, what is that one? Yeah, no, this was supposed to be tucked in there, like literally in that corner where the blazers are. But because we measured it, because the space and the size of the shelves was big, then the size, this, 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 is that the, I don't know how, the boxes that you, oh God, how are they called? I think they're called shelves. I don't know what it's called, I'm sorry. They're bigger than my space, so, but I, I'm okay with that. I'm short and I wanted it tall. So again, this is the tallest one I got. You can get, you can get shorter, but mine is taller. But anyway, this was supposed to be in that corner where the blazers are, but then, and then this was supposed, this one right here was supposed to push out. But again, because we did the measurement wrong, we had to move things around. Remember, I'm going to emphasize on this. Make sure the measurement is as, as accurate as it can be. In fact, measure the place, record a video of the place, and take it with you to Ikea if you're going in store to them. If not, again, make sure it is precise because they're not going to know. You, they're going to go, they're going to build your system based on the measurement you give them, okay? So this whole section has my bags on them. Again, because I had to remove the bag, the bag station, I had to work with this, okay? So I have one, two, three, four, four shelves in the <laughs> so it works for me. It took a lot of bags and I love it. It's, you can put shoes on here if you want to. You can put clothes on there if you want to. That's totally up to you. But I just wanted it to be, I wanted it to be for shoes actually, but then I will show you the shoes right later, what it ended up turning to be shoes. Um, I will put lights up, all, all, all of them eventually. Um, maybe later, it's not a rush. I love it as it is right now. But eventually I'll put lights. Um, the other thing I wanted to talk about, and I didn't get to talk about it, is all the way up there. Let me see if I can bring it down. Oh, oh I'm so short. Okay. Okay, so I wanted to show you guys this. It comes with all of the upper top, all the way up there. I, I, sorry, y'all can't see it because the video is not as long. Um, but it goes all the way up there and it comes with these storage bins and which is good You can put more stuff in it um, Or you can take it off. Let me lift the camera up. So this 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 haul is gonna be really weird because it, Everything there's gonna be a lot of movement because I'm trying to show you everything so forgive me and I'm doing this alone Okay, but anyway, that's That's where I took that oh, Is it going? Hi Marina. Okay up there <laughs> Okay, up there where you see the opening, that's where the store bin came from. And you can put other things there, you can put clothes there, you can put shoes there, you can put bags there, but I decided to make it, um, I just put the clothing bin there, and then it's empty for now, but it's storage, you can use for whatever you want. I don't, I haven't prepared it yet. And it comes if you put a shelving up there, okay? 
But yeah, that's that. All right, that's the second station. The third station is this one right here where my blazers are. This is very, again, very simple. I just put two rods in there for blazers and skirt. You can do whatever with it if you want. It goes, it's very deep inside. That's what I'm saying. Make sure you get the measurement right. Make sure you get the depth right. They have a smaller side from this shelf. You can choose a bigger one. I chose the bigger ones because again, you want your clothes to go all the way in, you know. Or like, you remember, I did a video before about the, um, what's the other brand? The, sh the shoe shelf, the bookcases that I got from Target and I turned into a closet back in the day. Like a couple of months ago, I did that. And the reason why I couldn't hand closing them because they weren't deep enough. So if you want yours to be for clothes, keep that in mind to make it deeper than the other one, okay? So yeah, my blazers are on the top and on the bottom. And the other thing is, excuse me, I still have the other closet in the bedroom. I put my summer clothes in there and then the winter clothes come out here and they'll just be rotating over time. This is not my clothes. <laughs> okay, but yeah, skirts and blazer. You can control it. And then also up there, I think you guys can see the other storage place up there as well. Just as this one. They have storage everywhere. Like, this thing is the GOAT. Alright? Now, let's go to my second favorite part of the station. This is like my favorite, if not all of them are my favorite. But I just love this station. The whole side. Okay? So, first thing first is the sunglasses area. It pulls out. It has all of my sunglasses in there. And again, these shelvings come out. If you want it to come out of there, you just want to empty space, you can. But that is my sunglasses station. It have like a couple of my sunglasses in here. And then the smaller one, the glass is there. But I just love how smoothly. Like, look at this. Whoops, Marina, quick. <laughs> and then you just pull it back. It just slides in. It's so cool. I ended up putting my purse, some purses out here for display, but then it has the glass on top. Not all of them. Um, it's a small glass, but the big glass, when it comes, it will look just like this as well. Okay? And then, you want you ready for this? <laughs> this is my favorite one. Okay. I know! You can put jeans, you can put skirt, you can put pants, you can put shirt. Like literally, I, I, this is what I wanted the whole time. Like when I thought about the IKEA pack system, this was it. <laughs> I know this is not a big deal, but to me it is. I truly love this. I'm obsessed. Again, we had to move things around. This whole station should have been in that corner, but because the measurement was wrong, the measurement was off, it wasn't wrong, it was off, and then the shelves are bigger than the sizing. So that's why we had to put this in the middle to work around with what we have. But I am obsessed. I haven't even finished fully pulling things in here yet, but I was just really excited and I just started packing stuff. But look! Ah, ching chop! I'm so happy. Woo, I love this. I love this. Again, when we get a bigger space, especially when we move, we get a more bigger space. I am going to keep adding to this. She just give it more of it. The other thing I wanted to show, and y'all not gonna see this, but I'm gonna pull it on my from the bottom. I don't know if y'all cause y'all can't see it. I'll record a video and show it to you guys. Um there's another station at the bottom that you pull out. It's a pull out drawer for shoes. And I love that. I'll put a video on the corner for you to see that. But I'm obsessed with this. It is like 200 with 10. It's just like perfect. Perfection, man. I know, I'm very happy. <laughs> Alright, moving on to the next station. The next station, I just left it. It's just basic, not too much to it. It's just all one wrap I put in there with some dresses and that was it for my dresses, my longer clothes, my jackets and stuff. That's pretty much it. And then up there, like the other place, and the other place, there's storage bins and storage up there as well. So yeah, that's pretty much it. So for the bigger size of, of 
bend us up shelf i don't know what this is called hi -yo. for a bigger size i have three of them so that's one that's two for the blazers and then this is the third one and then for the medium i had one and you guys got to see that's so on my shirt top and then for the smaller ones and corner i have two of them okay again this space is big enough our studio is big this was supposed to, this is my office slash content creating space all right okay so moving on to the next station okay the next station is the only thing that is standing alone so my handyman tyler he decided to screw a little bit it's not even that big but he have a little bit of connection from this to the wall so it doesn't fall on me he was very concerned about safety and i appreciate him for that so this is the only thing i don't like and i'm mistaken it got it but i love it but i don't like it well let me show you what I'm talking about. So I have the pull out tray for my shoes, which is what I wanted. I have a smaller one at the bottom here. I'm obsessed with it, but there are two different materials. I wish I had gone with a material that I have to the bottom here over this one. This one I just is a little old school, but it's still cute. I still like it, but I have the pull out tray for my shoes. Like, look at this. <gasps> Okay, let me stop. <laughs> I have three of the pull out trays, so that's one. Here's the other one. I don't know if you guys can see. You can see a little bit of it. That's two. It takes one, four shoes on them. If you if you set up your shoes like the way I did mine, where it's like left and right, it's like in and out, in and out, then you can take four. But if you don't do it, you just set it straight like this. It will only take three. So just keep that in mind. So I know I'm doing it left and right to get more space, okay? But this is just so perfect. Like everything I wanted in my IKEA pack system, I got it. Like I always wanted these pull out shoes tray. It's just perfection, all right? And then on top of the tray, I had a ride up there for my shirt, my blouses. That's pretty much it. And then yeah. That just house my shirts and then up, up all the way at the top it, it house my hats my oversized hats and stuff but that's a storage bin and it have enough space so pretty much that's this station and i love it again this is the only one that is like stuck to the wall was mounted to the wall because he was concerned about my safety of it falling on me but everything else is connected to each other and they are stuck they're also on the ground all right yeah that is that's okay that is that is it that is the whole closet um i wanted to do this because again i had so many questions from you guys and it was like oh where did you get it from wow like is it custom built or not and i looked at every other um custom built closet out there and they was not affordable <laughs> so i had to go with the most affordable one so for transparency so the whole system built by itself um, is $2,080. Again, my design, I'm being transparent, I'm showing you guys prices so you guys don't leave here without not knowing what to do. And the first time I went to build it last year, it was $1,300 because the space was small and I wasn't getting much. I've seen some people build this whole thing for $800 and then I've seen some people go as high as three, four thousand dollars. Again, it depends how big your space is and how many pieces you get. Okay. But mine built like this and everything I just showed you was $2,080. And then I paid another $400 plus tip to build it. It came out to about $2,500 plus. Okay. So the whole thing I'll say about $2,500 and change. That's how much it cost me to put this together. Again, it can be cheaper. You don't have to go as high as I would. It can be lesser. Like my friend May has a whole different design and her price is different. My design is different. It, it, again, I know everybody loves the, the, the affordable side of this, which is the bulk cases from either Walmart or Target. Here's what I've learned. You can hang clothes in there and it's a good place to start. The people say use baby clothes hangers, but really, at this big age, okay, do you? But anyway, if you want to start up with this, you can get two or three vents. 
right? The bed by itself is 160. This the big shelf, the book, the big case, both case by itself is 160. Um, but then if you get a smaller one, the goes as low as $50, right? So and then you can go work off of that. You don't have to go as massive as I did. Remember what I said, this has been my wish list for three years. It's been on my wish list for three years. It's been something I always wanted since I started creating content. If you follow me beginning, 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 like probably two, three months into content creating, I got a, one of the bulk cases from Amazon, from Ikea, and it was like 50 bucks, and I saw it in the closet, and I put shoes on it, right? That's how far back I've gone with this. So I don't want you to feel intimidated because you see me have it now. This is a, a combination of how God, hard work, and consistency that brought me here. So keep that in mind. And you can start small and build and build and build on it. Like I said, I listened to one creator once. She said she started building hers for years in advance. So just keep that in mind, okay? All right, that was it. Oh, another thing I wanted to show you guys are my hangers because I got questions about it earlier in my Instagram, so I wanted to share that with you guys. So I have these white hangers. If you notice, all my clothes are on white hangers, and they are from Amazon. So here's a skirt or pants hanger. I'm going to link it in the description. I cannot link the Ikea, okay? But I'm going to link the hangers, and that's about it. I don't know what else I can link for you guys, but um, I can't give, I, I can't get anything of these I'm just genuinely doing this because I got questions from it but anyway the, the hinges are for Amazon this one is for skirts I love them and then this one's are for tops blazers shirts and dresses so yeah I, I I bought these I have and it's very affordable I think it's like I could be wrong don't hold me to this but for the for the the the, the, the shirt I think it's like 25 to 30 in the box for $36 and then this one is about I think 10 or 15 in the box for $16. I could be wrong. I'll put it in the description. Go and check it out. I haven't gotten some in a while, but when I got it, I've got like five boxes each and I've just been rotating. I still have some sitting down. And yeah, so I like this is good. It's just elevate your house and your closet. They have it in different color. I wanted the white ones, but I know they have it in brown and the black. I could be wrong, but check it out. I'll put a link in the description for you to check it out. All right. Okay. All right, guys, that was a whole overview of my IKEA closet. I hope this was helpful to you guys, and I love that you guys were rocking with me and were so happy for me when I posted this. So I hope you learn from it and figure how to go about doing yours because it's not that difficult. You just have to know what you're doing. <laughs> okay. All right. Thank you so much. If you haven't already done this, please hit the subscribe button, turn on the notification bell. You'll receive every single content I post. I post here once a week on Mondays, and yeah. If you love fashion, lifestyle, travel, blogging videos, I put some in the description as well. Definitely check it out. All right. Thank you again for hanging out with me. God bless you and bye.